Look, I'm not usually a ray of sunshine on this segment, and for good reason. But I'm going to allow myself a brief glimmer of hope this week because women won big in this year's election. I mean, again, with all those qualifiers, Noah mentioned about how low our expectations have to be to consider anything in American politics a win. But still, holy shit, in a year that should have been a referendum of Joe Biden's leadership by any modern historical standard, This one was, as much as anything, a referendum on how dangerous the Supreme Court has become. And guys, if you're breathing a sigh of relief as the results roll in, you need to thank the women in your life for making it happen. So, as we knew leading into this, women were voting at historical levels. Voter registration among women was up much more than among men. When asked what was the single most important issue motivating their vote, the most popular answer was inflation at 31%. But right on its heels, at 27%, was abortion. And more than three quarters of the people that answered abortion voted blue. But we don't have to rely on exit polls to know how reproductive rights did. Five states had abortion-related referendums as well. California, Michigan, and Vermont all had ballot measures that would enshrine abortion access into law, and all three won. Hell, in Vermont, the measure carried every single county. On top of that, Kentucky had a measure that would outlaw abortion and voters rejected it. And Montana had this bullshit born alive bill that would have restricted abortion in ways that they tried to be coy about. But voters saw through that bullshit, too. It's not official at the time of this record, but it looks pretty solidly doomed given what we know now. And not only did abortion carry ballot measures, it carried politicians as well. At the same time that Republicans were deleting anti-abortion statuses from their social media presence, a lot of Democratic candidates really leaned into the issue. People like Gretchen Whitmer in Michigan, Patty Murray in Washington, Josh Shapiro in Pennsylvania, and extremely vulnerable House Democrat Abigail Spanberger in Virginia. All of them won their races. So yeah, abortion access carried the day, even in deep red states like Kansas, Kentucky, and Montana. Women's concern for their own bodily autonomy is a deal breaker. And Republicans who have made their living scaremongering about this shit for the last 40 years are learning what it's like to reap the whirlwind. I mean, hell hath no fury because there's no such thing as hell. But still, don't fuck with us. And on that note, I'll hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. 